Drop Zone is an app that you can add to your Google Drive. To do this, you click on Create, Connect More Apps, and search for Drop Zone. You, you press the plus connect button, and now Drop Zone has been attached to your drive. So when you click on Create again, and click on Drop Zone, log in with your Google account and password, select the account to use, and accept the terms and conditions. You'll now be logged into Drop Zone. Drop Zone is a way that you can collect files from users who do not have Google Docs but store them in your Google account. To create a drop zone, on the left hand side you click create, you give it a name, a description, and you click create drop zone. I now have an English 10 drop zone. It's connected to my Google Drive and now I need to copy and paste this URL so that I can share it with people. When someone enters that URL, they're brought to a page that tells them who the drop zone is owned by, and what they can do with it. They enter their name, they can enter a comment, and they select their files. If they'd like to upload again, they simply click on click here to start a new upload. When you go back to your Google Drive, You'll see a My Drop Zone folder, and when you click on it, you'll find the files that have been submitted to you. If you'd like to change the destination of the files in your Drop Zone, you click on the Gears icon, you click on More Options, and under More Options you'll see a folder, My Drop Zone. If you click on Change, you can actually indicate which folder in your Google Drive will get those files. If you'd like to personalize your drop zone, navigate to Drop Zone and the drop zone you wish to change. Click on the three people, and here you have options to change your display, your header, and the label that goes on it, the message your users will get. The label above where you collect the username. The label above where they can enter a comment. What the button will say on the drop zone. The security on the drop zone, which allows you to add a CAPTCHA for extra security. And it gives you the embed code to embed this drop zone on a web page. You can also delete a drop zone at any time by clicking on the trash can.